The Jacob Series Story number 3 Jacob Deceives His Father Taken from Genesis chapter 27, verses 1 through 29 In this story, the favoritism that Isaac had for Esau and Rebekah had for Jacob results in an outcome that neither anticipated. Although both parents are at fault, Rebekah's desperate attempt to deceive her now-blind husband to get the patriarchal blessing for Jacob is difficult for many to understand. Although Esau already sold his birthright to Jacob, he did not automatically give up his right to receive the blessing. The patriarchal blessing was more than just a chance for a larger portion of the inheritance. It had spiritual implications as well. In this instance, the blessing was prophetic and granted to the son and his descendants the eternal covenant promises God made to Abraham. And now this story begins. Now Isaac was old, and his eyesight was so poor that he could no longer see clearly. One day he called his older son Esau and said, My son? Esau answered, Yes, I am here. Isaac said, Listen, I am old, and I don't know how soon I might die. Now, take your weapons, your bow and your arrows, and go hunting in the field. Find a wild animal for me to eat, and prepare me the tasty food that I love. Bring it to me, and I will eat it, and bless you before I die. So Esau went out into the field to go hunting. Now Rebekah was listening as Isaac was speaking to his son Esau. So when Esau left to go hunting, she said to her son Jacob, Listen, I heard your father say to your brother Esau, Go kill a wild animal and prepare some tasty food for me to eat. Then I will bless you in the presence of the Lord before I die. Now obey me, my son, and do what I tell you. Go out to our goats and bring me two of the best young ones. I will prepare them just the way your father likes them. Then you will take the food to your father, and he will bless you before he dies. But Jacob said to his mother, My brother Esau is a hairy man, and I have smooth skin. If my father touches me, he will know I am not Esau. He will think I'm making fun of him and put a curse on me rather than a blessing. But Rebekah said to Jacob, If your father puts a curse on you, I will accept the blame. Just do what I said, and bring me the goats. So Jacob went out and got two goats, and brought them to his mother. And Rebekah cooked them the special way Isaac enjoyed. Then she took the best clothes of her older son Esau that were with her in the house, and put them on her younger son, Jacob. And Rebekah also took the skins of the goats, and put them on the back of Jacob's hands and his neck. Then she put the tasty food and the bread she had made into Jacob's hands. So Jacob went in to his father and said, Father? And Isaac said, Yes, my son, uh, who are you? Jacob said to him, oh, I am Esau, your firstborn son. I have done what you told me. Now sit up and eat some of the meat of the animal I hunted for you. Then you can bless me. But Isaac asked his son, How did you find and kill the animal so quickly? Jacob answered, Because the Lord, your God, helped me to find it. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come near, so I can touch you, my son. Then I will know if you are really my son Esau. And Jacob came near to Isaac his father, and Isaac felt him, and said, Your voice sounds like Jacob's voice, but your hands are hairy, like the hands of Esau. So Isaac did not know it was Jacob, because his hands were hairy, 
like Esau's hands. So Isaac blessed him. Isaac asked, Are you really my son Esau? And Jacob answered and said, Yes, I am. Then Isaac said, Bring me the food, and I will eat it, and bless you. So Jacob gave him the food, and he ate. And Jacob gave him wine, and he drank. Then Isaac said to him, My son, come near, and kiss me. So Jacob went to his father, and kissed him. When Isaac smelled Esau's clothes, he blessed Jacob, and said, The smell of my son is like the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. May God give you plenty of rain and good soil, so that you will have plenty of grain and new wine. May other nations serve you, and peoples bow down to you. May you be master over your brothers, and may your mother's sons bow down to you. May everyone who curses you be cursed, and may everyone who blesses you be blessed. So Isaac finished blessing Jacob. The Jacob Series Story number 3 Jacob Deceives His Father Taken from Genesis chapter 27, verses 1 through 29. 